What up zeros and ones, this is Mike Bust from Arcadians, sometimes known as Vareed and Monster Hunter Try, and my intention in this video is to provide a Wyvern Fire tutorial that discusses some of the known variables involved when using this type of shot, and hopefully provide some new information and analysis. Wyvern Fire shots are not only highly damaging, but extremely fun to use, and I hope to bring to light some of the mathematical principles that make Wyvern Fire shots productive, while also showing ways to maximize enjoyment while using them. Subjects covered in this video will be relative damage and performance, shot range, general usage variables, and finally some suggested sets. Ladies and gentlemen, please stow your flamethrower safely in the overhead compartment and douse that pilot light for a narrated video tutorial concerning Wyvern Fire. I'm starting here with some video exhibition of the shot timings while I talk about general damage characteristics of the three levels of Wyvern Fire shot, and this video footage was slowed down to quarter speed to show some of the shot timings I'll be discussing as we go along. Wyvern Fire shots, although producing only one explosion, are actually delivering two hits, each of which is comprised of explosive damage and fire damage. Following from Vampire Cosmonaut's Bowgun Damage Formula FAQ, available on GameFAQ, the individual damage levels of each shot are as displayed on screen, with Wyvern 1 unloading a total of 36% of the Bowgun's raw damage in explosive damage, Wyvern 2 a total of 40%, and Wyvern 3 a total of 50%. Explosive damage, unlike melee or shot damage, ignores monster defense and is only modified by the universal variables of quest defense, which modifies all damage in online play. After a Wyvern fire shot is ignited, there is a delay before the explosion comes out, and by watching this footage I came to the conclusion that the shot timings are very close to being as follows. Wyvern one shots take one second to deliver damage, Wyvern 2 take 1.5 seconds, and Wyvern 3 take 2 seconds. After the shot goes off with recoil at appropriate levels, they each take 1 second before another shot can be ignited. I may be off by a tenth of a second or more in this analysis, and if so, please forgive me, but these timings are easily close enough for comparison. Given these timings, if you didn't have reloading to worry about, the relative damage per second, or DPS, of the Wyvern Fire shots is actually highest on Wyvern 1 shots, and I'm showing here on the screen the percentage raw presented as DPS so that we're all clear as to why. To offset this though, Wyvern 3 shots actually reload faster than Wyvern 1 shots, which depending on clip size and other variables could lead to an advantage for Wyvern 3 shots, especially if you focus on things like reload speed in your bowgun setup. So to showcase the range of each shot, I set up some barrel bombs at specified locations to show some of the absolute limits of each shot's range. What you can see right away with the Wyvern 1 shots is that direction does matter and you do have to do some aiming. With the Wyvern 2 shots, it was a little bit difficult to nail down exactly the range that I wanted. So I just crept up to it as slowly as possible to show exactly where it would start or as best as possible. Wyvern 2 shots seem to me to reach out a little further than Wyvern 3 shots and I think that's something important to note. Uh, here I am comparing Wyvern 2 and Wyvern 3 shots and showing that I'm standing here with Wyvern 3, it's not working, and I immediately switch over to Wyvern 2 and I am able to blow up the barrel. So I believe that Wyvern 2 shots go a little further than Wyvern 3. This isn't absolutely tested though, that was just my simple test. And I'll throw up some variables on the screen for just sort of a, a quick sheet on some of the things we've discussed so far about Wyvern fire shots. The main issue with using Wyvern Fire shots is the large amount of recoil associated with each level of the shot. From a standard of high recoil, which benefits from no recoil reduction at all, four levels of recoil reduction need be applied for recoilless Wyvern 1, five levels applied for Wyvern 2, and six levels applied for Wyvern 3. To achieve these levels of reduction, points are applied through armor skills, which can reduce recoil by two to four levels, bowgun frames, which can reduce recoil by either zero or one level, 
or bowgun stalks, which can reduce recoil by zero, one, or two levels. This means that between these three factors, recoil can be reduced by up to seven levels, with only six levels being necessary for Wyvern 3s, giving the gunner some flexibility in choosing armor skills and bowgun designs. My quick rule of thumb on recoil reduction for bowgun parts is as follows. Recoil reduction is enhanced on specific parts from Kurapeko, Rathalos, Legiacris, and El Elatrion, and reduction is not enhanced for digging monsters, specifically Diablos and Ignoctor, Baryoth, and the light bowgun stock. I'll display the specifics so you know what parts to look for. After recoil is reduced, the explosive damage comes straight from the bowgun's raw damage, so armor skills like Attack Up and Adrenaline Plus 2 are the go-to skills for enhancing those damage outputs. Now that we have looked at Wyvern Fire's operational variables, let's talk about some of the awesome sets you can make to cook up the monsters on your own, and I'll display a mathematical approximation of the damage per second for each level along with the bowgun parts and appropriate armor skills, so that each set can be thoroughly compared. I will omit damage boosters like Power Talons, Attack Up, and where appropriate, even Load Up, since the application of these variables is at the player's discretion. I also measured all Wyvern Fire shots on the VG Raid shot calculator and I have a link for that below and I measured against an Elatrion that was on the ground so we could see high rank variables for a non fire weak monster for the best possible comparison. I'm going to start off with the Juju Special. This was recommended by Juju Beans of Capcom Unity and YouTube, and it is constructed with the Devil's Grin Frame, the Needler Barrel, and the Needler Stock. The armor skills need to have Recoil Down plus 3 for recoilless Wyvern 2 and Wyvern 1 shots, and they'll always have light recoil with the Wyvern 3 shots. The Wyvern distribution in the ammo clip is 3 shots of level 1, 1 shot of level 2, and two shots of level three. And in high rank against the Latreon, you could expect a damage potential to be higher for the Wyvern one shots also because of their higher clip size. And if you can use this kind of a gun to maneuver around the monster, in this case, I'm getting hit by wind press a lot, but still trying to get those Wyvern one shots in. If you can maneuver around the monster appropriately, those Wyvern ones are gonna be your biggest damage getter. And then in situations where you're not able, here I am actually getting a, the Wyvern one shot in, but in situations where you can't get those Wyvern fire shots in, you can always switch to three, which has a larger radius of explosion, pull something out of the air as I'm doing here, and simply just keep unloading the damage. That'll be a potentially beneficial way for you guys to run the Wyvern fire shots in this particular setup. I like to affectionately refer to this setup as my Elatrion Buster. The Bowgun setup is Rathling plus Frame, Devil's Grin Barrel, and Agna Blaster Stock. And the armor needs Recoil Down plus 3 for recoilless Wyvern 1 and Wyvern 2 shots. The Wyvern shot loadout is 3 level 1 shots and 2 level 2 shots. And the way I've designed this Bowgun is to actually be paired with Guard plus 1 and guard boost along with recoil down plus three for basically a set that allows me to deliver wyvern fire damage and still block a lot of Elatrion's most aggressive moves that he likes to pull out against melee users things like the dragon claw or the move where he swoops down at you really quickly when you know from the ground uh, this bowgun setup also loads Crag 3 shots, 4 Crag 3s, and 2 Cluster 2 shots. Those are really popular explosive shot damage potential shots that people like to use against the Latrion, and I've still got those. In addition to this, thanks to the Rathling plus frame, I load 2 Para 1 shots. Now, normally in a status kind of setup, you would be wanting to set up uh, paralysis in a really meaningful way or at least constantly maybe even when he's flying in this case I was able to use it in such a way that my hammer user scored a super pound right as he was going into paralysis which is always very fun and a good way to expand damage on a Latrion Because I was able to unite the paralysis with lots of KO damage, he basically knocks out right away, giving me potential to shoot off more Wyvern fire shots, which is exactly what I'm hoping to do this entire time. 
Uh, you know, it may seem that it's a strange combination to use Guard Plus and the Bow Gun. Against Elatrion in particular, I find it an easy way to block out a lot of his damage. So again, I also load the Cluster 2 shots, and I can always use those if Elatrion becomes uncooperative or if he just decides to run a marathon all over the place, which for me, I find he does that quite often. Even if I was loading the maximum potential of 5 Cluster 2 shots into Elatrion per clip, I'm, I'm not entirely sure that that would actually be better damaging. Uh, it may have a higher DPS than what is available here, but you'll certainly run out of Cluster 2 shots if you're the only bow gunner before Latrion goes down, generally speaking. So this is one of my favorite sets that I'm going to suggest, and this is a fun set. But I refer to this as my fake gun lance. And basically, it's a light bow gun that loads Wyvern one-shots, and it has a raw damage potential of 300. The bow gun setup is the Jagged Fire frame, the Needler barrel, and the Rathling plus stock. And basically what you can do with this bow gun, just pair it with recoil down plus two, an evasion plus one. I also have it paired with load up so that I can have three shots in the clip. And you can just kind of use it like a lance. You just sidestep all the attacks, load in lots of wyvern fire, and, wyvern fire, pardon me. And you can just do a, an enormous amount of damage in a quick amount of time. The combos for wyvern ones, you can get 30 in total from all the sub combo, or I should say speed combo uh, possibility. So in a way, the, the damage potential is still pretty small. Uh, here I am soloing a village Rathian with it, and so in, in this manner I'm able to get her down to almost death with just the Wyvern Fire shots. But it's not really a, a, the kind of weapon you would necessarily want to be soloing anything with in high rank. Uh, you know, the damage potentials are kind of nice. It's something that you could use, especially in a party setting, setting, to take something down quickly. And it's really just about enjoying some of the Lancer's favorite moves with a Wyvern Fire set that works in... A, a semi-similar fashion. You also get some good backup shots. The Rapid Fire Pierce 2s, that's not so bad. They're grinding out in this in this occasion on Rathian's back, which kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? You always want tummy shots. Always want the tummy shots with the Pierce. But it, it loads uh, a good amount of Rapid Fire Pierce 2, and you could use it. Of course, if you're looking to just specialize in Wyvern Fire, uh, there's a couple of other sets that I'd like to suggest that work analogously with the type of strategies that I've been suggesting. And one way is to just go full chaos. Just use chaos wing frame, barrel, and stock. You end up with four Wyvern 3 shots. And if you think about it, if you're able to unload all four in sequence, it would take about 14 and a half seconds in order to unload all four and reload. And that's going to deal about 576 points of damage in high rank against a non-fire weak monster. That's, that's pretty impressive. Thank you oh so very much for watching my Wyvern Fire tutorial. I want to say thanks to Gail for helping me with the proper pronunciation of Wyvern Fire Shots. I have a really hard time not saying Wyvern Fire Shots just because it's easier for my mouth to sort of wrap around. So uh, yeah, Gail pointed me in the right direction and made sure that I wasn't using a Baroque era pronunciation of Wyvern Fire Shots. Still hard for me to say. Thanks to Soy, aka Satya, who is sort of the Chong to my Cheech in bowgunning, and keeps things fresh and fun for me, also comes along for a lot of my weirdo ideas. Certainly a great guy for me to be hooked up with. Thanks also to Ether and Bree. Ether ran the hammer and Bree the longsword against Super Latrion, and we even made it out in a pretty good time. Definitely a fun hunt. 
This is Mike Bust from Arcadians. Y'all might know me as Fareed from Monster Hunter Try. Peace out. Thank you.